Well, Warren, you've come down to town against a side that just beat the reigning Premiers and Champions 3-0 and you've got a 0-0 draw. Happy with the performance? Uh, yeah, look, overall, we're happy. But to be honest, we came in to take all three, you know, as, as unfancied as we may have been going into the game, knowing they've come off a great result. But, uh, you know, I'm realistic about the opposition we faced today and obviously they had control in moments of the game or, or, or good parts of it. Uh, but I don't think they bombarded our goal with many chances. Uh, and we had some great chances of our own and probably because of snuck a win in the end. We had a great header at the end that uh, free header for Nevs that, that just went wide. It looked like you were doing a really good job of getting a lot of bodies in between their attacks and the goal, forcing them to have to create something that wasn't a moment in transition. Was that something you planned coming into this one? It's just called hard work. It's hard, you know, and if I'm honest, we've, uh, it's probably at times let us down this year with certain individuals, uh, but the, the players we put out in the park today are able to do that for us. They're able to work hard for longer periods and when they fatigue, we brought young players on, more mobile players to continue the good work and, and keep our defensive structure and, and just work hard. And um, tonight was great because we showed some real resilience. Just on that note, especially with younger players in there, we've we've seen plenty of other teams get un, brought undone by a lapse of concentration or a late winner, especially against a team like Victory with all their weapons. How pleasing is it to see, I guess, that, that mental resilience side of it as, as well, to see out that full 90, especially dragged on? Yeah, we... Um, you, you know, but there's no kidding ourselves. Um, we're third last, and probably what you've just said is probably a valid point for the season we've had. You know, lapses in concentration. You know, not always by young players, but you know, we, we've got a lot of young players to, this year that have had experience in the A League. Um, but I guess tonight shows that they're learning. Uh, you know, against a very, very good team um, that tested us, but we were disciplined and structured and concentrated for 90 minutes and. Again, uh, we didn't just sit back. We tried to go at them as well. We tried to press them high and we tried to have, have our moments and we did. Um, but yeah, so overall really pleased. I mean, how do you now look at the, the rest of the season from, a, I guess, a wider perspective? Because, you know, Matt, you can say mathematically finals are there, but it'd be very, very difficult. Do you, do you just say, is it looking towards next year? Is it making that, trying to make that last stitch run? How do you try and approach these last handful? We just approach them like we have the last couple. We, we, we've gone out to win the last two games, come up short, but we picked up a point on the road in two very difficult games. Uh, you know, we played a difficult game against Western City on a really poor pitch the other day. Uh, came down here, um, great stadium, great team, great atmosphere. Um, so we were tested and our young boys were tested. You know, we started Jazz tonight and, uh, and, and again our young boys, uh, Cyrus, came on and in an atmosphere which was great for their experience. And... Um, so if we get anything out of this next couple of matches, it's experience for our younger players. But we're not conceding anything. You know, we're going to go out and try and win every game we play. You mentioned before about f it was a bit frustrating. Some players earlier in the season weren't putting in the effort compared to the group that you found now. How frustrating is that for you as a coach that it's taken you to like maybe to this point in the season to find a group of players that will get out there and give you everything every week? Yeah, I think my message has been really clear to my group. You know, I've been asking it whether everyone uh, has been getting the message. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe they think they have. Um, our results probably are there for all to see. You know, like I said, we're not happy of where we're at. We want to be pushing and challenging for finals. We're not at this stage. Uh, but we found, a, you know, we, we've been banging on about it and we've been clear with our messaging. You know, those that want to work will play, those that don't won't. And uh, I think it's clear with the squad I pick, the people that travel. You know, uh, there's a lot of mobility, uh, a lot of work rate and a lot of desire to do well defensively for the team as well as do well with the ball. Um, and that's, that's critical for us as a club. Um, you mentioned, obviously, you guys had plenty of opportunities in this game to go up 1-0 and potentially get the winner. What do you put your inability to do that down to? Is that a, a lack of execution, fatigue? You know, what aspect of the game were you missing in that regard? I, I, it's what you've just said, I think, lack of execution. You know, I think the stats are there. I think if you look at the stats of the league, I think we're second or third in chance creation in the league, you know, and I think uh, Melbourne City and um, I'm not sure who else is ahead of us, in, they're in the top six, we're not. So, you know, we've got no problem ch creating chances and, and I've been sat in these press conferences all season talking about how we're still creating chances and we're still in games and we don't really get turned over by sides, by big score lines, you know. Um, you know, other than I think when we came down here for a same-day travel match, 
it's round two. We got turned over 3-0 by victory, but circumstances around that. Um, we're in every game. You know, For us, it's about now trying to convert and, and being more ruthless in front of the goal. And we speak about it as a group and you know, um, we haven't found it this season, but but that's up to us now as a staff and the club and the playing group to, to improve, you know, with what games we have left this season and going into next season. Any injuries to come out tonight or are you clean slate? No, I think we're okay at this stage. You know, boys are going to be sore. We're, um, you know, lots of matches, obviously, and we, we made changes tonight accordingly because of that and we wanted to keep some uh, boys fresh and thought the ones that came in did well and the ones that came on to impact the game did well and hopefully uh, we'll recover them now and we'll be okay for MacArthur on Friday. MacArthur on Friday, I think it's the third game of a road trip for your side. Do you expect any rotations in that game with those tired bodies? Or Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think we will. Um, I think we're going to need to. I think it's just too short a turnaround and we understand why these matches need to be played and the league needs to finish by a certain time. But, you know, I don't think we can expect to put the same side out. Uh, again, we'll need to make changes for this third match. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, cheers guys. Thank you.